Hello to be Ubers and welcome back to Paper Crafts by Cindy Allen. Today we've got an interesting video. It's a process video and it's a technique video. So do you see these cute little bears? Aren't they cute? I really like these bears. So what's really fun about these bears is that, that they are furry but I did not flick them. I did not use, I used a fun technique that Kathy Rakusen taught me. Yay! To make them look furry. And if your hands hurt, you want to learn this technique. So I used the Berry Special Birthday stamp set by Sassy and Crafty. Uh, that's not their name. Yes, it is. Sassy and Crafty. Um, I really like this stamp set. It's got Berry Special, Happy Birthday, You Make My Life Bearable. What a great day to celebrate you, wishing you a day filled with joy and laughter. And it's got this adorable little bunny down at the bottom, um, pushing a present and another bear carrying a whole bunch of bunnies. Um, okay, so to learn this, you need stamped out bears. You need some alcohol markers. This will not work except with alcohol markers. So I use Spectrum Noir markers and I've got TN two and then five six and seven because that's what i used you need some kind of a rag or a cloth with texture to it uh, some kind of texture that you want to make your bears look furry with and you need the kind of alcohol blender that you use with your alcohol inks um so like the same kind of you would use with like your alcohol inks when you're doing alcohol ink blending so i'm going to color these bears i'm not going to color the balloons i'm just going to color the bears so here you go their little snouts are getting the tn2 a little bit in their ears i, I wanted to show you that you don't have to be like really fussy about how you color the bears okay so this whole video is like nine minutes long just under 10 minutes long so it can't be that big so now we're going to do the dark parts um because you do the uh technique over all of this you you don't have to be like really fussy so yes it's a three blend a three color blend but you don't have to be really fussy about how you color this so uh, one of the things I learned from both Sandy Alnick and Kathy Rakusen is that you want to use your shadow to outline your subject. So like under the arms, around the outside, because we all have sort of a shadow that makes us round. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm making like the arms a little round, underneath the arms round, and that'll give our bears some shape. Okay, um, making their heads a little round. Okay, and you're gonna especially see it on this um, taller bear. Uh, they're Kodiak bears, so they have like a rough um, around their necks and here I am um, but you're gonna see me give this bear a tummy see there he's got a tummy that'll make him a little bit rounder you see there you go he's got a tummy um, and that makes him look more like a bear you know like a real bear even though he's a cartoon bear but you know you want him to look kind of real um, and remember, limbs are round, so you want to think in circles. So there you go. So remember, this is your darkest color, whatever this is. That was for us, for me today, it's TN7. And the TN2 is the very lightest color, but that was the one that just for his muzzle. Now I'm going to use the TN5, which is, remember, it's 5, 6, and 7, to just color the rough and I'm not going to blend that in. I'm just going to leave that. You know, right now I'm not doing any blending. All I'm doing is just kind of coloring it all in. There you go. By the way, you can really see I was uh, trying to fix our golf cart, which I did not succeed in fixing our golf cart. And I uh, 
broke off one of my fingernails. You can see it there. So I'm giving a little highlight on top of the bear's head. It hurt like blue blazes, I gotta tell you. Yeah, it did. So now we're gonna take the middle color, which to me is now TN6, and I'm gonna use the chisel tip to just kinda like fill in all the white space and kinda blend everything together. Well, except for the TN2 and the TN5, because, you know, that's, um, those, those are very special parts of this bear. But see, look, um, all I'm doing is coloring it in. Um, and this bear has, uh, the standing bear has like a little gap between his legs. So that's what that little white space is there. And see, you don't even have to like, um, I I'm not even coloring the sitting bear right side up. <laughs> which is kind of fun, which is kind of fun. These are going to be birthday cards, by the way. Uh, I have a couple of birthday cards I need to make. I'm always making birthday cards. Who, who am I kidding? I'm always making birthday cards. Yeah. So we're almost done. Here we go. Ta-da! Bears. Kind of boring. They're bears. I mean, they're okay, but they're bears. Okay, now the magic happens. Watch this. I was like, whoa, that's so cool. So I went to the coloring um, road trip uh, at MFT. My favorite thing store is in Eustis, Florida, which is about 25 minutes from me. And that's where I met um, a whole bunch of people including Sky Paper Scissors, Sika. So you count to five. And then you move it. Look at that. Now all of a sudden he's furry. Yes, he is. So one of the things that I have discovered is um, it's a lot like alcohol inks. So what happens is the cloth, the alcohol, the 99% alcohol moves your alcohol ink, your marker. But if you leave it alone, uh, your marker will move back to where it was. So once you get it, get the inks where you want them, dry them. Uh, you can wait for them to dry, but sometimes they move back where they were. Um, so I have found that using my heat tool to sort of set it where you want it works really well. And then um, if you need to, you can hit it again with the blender solution or 99% alcohol. See, now his tummy looks really cute. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. So now I'm going to sort of puff it up a little bit more. See, it's a really good thing I'm doing a voiceover because who wants to listen to somebody else's heat tool? Okay, so now we're going to do the other bear. Ready? Magic. Oh, this is so much fun. So you can also use this on poodles, uh, bears. You know, I, I don't have, I don't have the finger power. I, my joints just don't let me do that much flicking. So this is a really easy way to make fur. And if you use different kinds of cloth, um, the fur comes out differently. You know, woohoo! What fun! So that's my technique. Even if you don't have sore hands, you could use this technique. It just makes things look furry. So it's kind of new and different. You could also use it for rag dolls. You can use it for teddy bears. You can use it for anything you want. There you go. Once again, Thank you, Kathy. Uh, if you like this technique, there's more where this comes from. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. And uh, thank you for watching today. I appreciate you. Thanks. Bye.